we visited a lovely shop called Hoop Haberdashery and the selection of wool was amazing. I wanted to buy everything. But I was mainly looking for wool to make a project from A Stitch in Time by Susan Crawford, this lovely little fez, because a fez is so piquant. And I knew I wanted to make it because I had this brooch that had belonged to my nan in the 1930s. And also, I want this to go with an outfit that I'm thinking about making for the summer. I ended up choosing this really lovely rowan wool, which I think is new. It looks a little grey here, but actually it's far bluer in real life. It's incredibly soft and I got on with knitting straight away. It's a very quick and simple project and I'm really pleased with the progress so far. I'm looking forward to finishing this and putting the little brooch on and wandering around the old town amongst the old boats and fishing huts. Possibly I'll show you in a future video what the outfit ends up looking like. I'm a big fan of vintage style print patterns, but I don't know much about the company. I couldn't find much when I did a little bit of research on the old interwebby. I've made a few before and I've always really liked the patterns. They're a really good fit. I think this one is from the late 1950s, I should imagine. I really love the skirt with the big pocket details. And all the styling of these pinafore dresses are just absolutely divine. I want to make all of them so that I can wear them. And I particularly love the instruction sheets in style print patterns because they are so, so beautifully done with lots of helpful tips and tricks. The illustrations are very simple and the instructions are really carefully and thoroughly explained. And there's fabulous bound buttonholes and lap to zip instructions here and I really love this note well these directions and symbols I most certainly shall I often wonder why modern pattern companies can't be so clear and concise as these lovely step-by-step -step sewing instructions are on these vintage patterns and then oh my goodness my lovelies when I opened the packet up, I found the actual pattern pieces still factory folded and honestly I'm over the moon, I am so excited because normally they are in a terrible state. The pattern recommends Silco sewing thread so it's a good job I picked up this vintage wooden reeled one. This advanced sewing pattern is from 1950 I did a little bit of online research and apparently it's quite rare. I absolutely love the illustrations. Look at this lady and her posing. I'm going to have to do that myself. It's a really beautiful pattern with this finned option for either a one shoulder or a two shoulder blouse and then the voluminous skirt. And I think there's a big pocket detail as well. I'm always really fascinated by vintage sizing. Apparently a size 12 is a 30 inch bust, um, which is very amusing. The instructions and the cut pieces of the pattern are all contained within. I'm not entirely sure if all the pieces are here. It's quite tricky to work out which pieces are which because the patterns aren't printed. This is because McCall's were the only company that had printed patterns because they owned the copyright for that, which ran out in 1938. And it took a while for other companies to catch up. So although this is from 1950, they hadn't yet invested in that technology. But there is a, a letter G stamped into the piece. So that's how you identify which piece it is. So I'm going to have to have a thorough look to see if the pattern is all there. 
How epic is this blouse though, my lovelies? I'm definitely going to have to make a version of this, I think. You don't see many of these wooden reeled Silco threads anymore, but how lovely is the colour? I just buy them to have as inspiration. The thread isn't very strong anymore, so I don't sew with them. I couldn't resist these glorious buttons in the deepest, darkest beetle green. A whole card of them and I am so excited to use them because they are one of my favourite colours. How incredible is this fabric? It literally takes my breath away. It's a twill weave satin from probably the 1950s I imagine. You guys were very kind in saying that green was good for me. So here's some more green. There's quite a lot here. I'm going to have to make something really quite special with this very lovely fabric. And last but not least, I found this knitting pattern for a lacy bed jacket. I think it's a really lovely design. I pick up these vintage patterns when I see them and I would love to knit some of them up but I find them very, very difficult to understand. I just really love the photos of the models on the front. This lady looks a bit confused. Thank you for watching today. And if you love sewing, vintage inspired and DIY style and haven't yet subscribed, then please do so. It's really lovely to share the sewing adventure with you. Your continued support means I can continue to make videos which is something I really love to do. So until next time, my lovelies, bye.